What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Magic 2019 draft. But we'd be here with you for the whole thing. Best support ever. I don't know if you would be here for the whole thing. I uh, I don't think that's accurate. All right, seven out of Come on, one time. Let's do it. Sorry about the wait on YouTube if you guys are watching it on the, in the tubes of you. Apologies for this early wait in the very beginning. You guys are watching it at 1.5 or 2 times speed anyway, so. I'm going to be honest, I actually have not gotten super tired of this format yet. Um, I'm still, still enjoying it. I'm still finding the games to be interactive and, and fun, so. I'm sure we'll get there. Uh, I think it took me about 60 Dominaria drafts to finally get there, but, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll, <clears throat> I'm sure we'll get there at some point, but right now I'm, I'm enjoying it still, so. Apparently not, some people are not enjoying it as much because they, uh, they refuse to just enter the queue here, but, you know. Well, that is not a Nicol Bolas, unfortunately, despite having a dragon on the art. I think it's actually just Vine Mare here, and we can go back to our green roots. I do like a good Vine Mare, especially with a uh, prodigious growth, which I'm sure we'll get. Also, if we take this Lightning Strike, there's also Bogger Brute and Spark Tongue Drake in the pack, so people are just going to take those. And um, we're already competing with Red. I will take the Vine Mare. Force Boros Aggro. I want to say I don't think forcing Boros Aggro makes me angry necessarily, though. Oh, and we get past the Dryad Greenseeker? That's just amazing. Um, the next cube event is uh, in August, actually. So in a couple weeks, I think, two weeks, like the 14th, maybe. I'm going to take Dryad Greenseeker and call it a day. That's a big 6-0, buddy. Better Halloween treat. Pennies, an apple, a toothbrush, crooked ramen, or single slices of American cheese. Uh, definitely an apple. Apple is actually enjoyable. I also wouldn't mind a toothbrush if it's a nice toothbrush. I uh I never have a problem with new toothbrushes. And probably Arcane Encyclopedia for a green deck. I don't foresee us having uh tremendous ways of gaining card advantage. Plus we have talons and titanic growth that could come back. I'll take this. I mean if it's literally just an apple, not like a trick apple or something, it's I'm definitely going with apple there. Apples are actually delicious. I mean, unless you're like six years old, I don't know why you wouldn't appreciate an apple. Uh, Gear per guide or gargoyle sentinel? We're going to take the Sentinel because it's actually, uh, the green deck has some trouble with flyers. Plus, worst case scenario, we don't get any other green cards. We're good.
Yeah, we're just going to take a Dreadmaw. Because this guy's almost uncommon. I, I see very few of these in drafts. Elvish Rejuvenator. I'm a big Elvish Rejuvenator fan. Uh, well, and there's nothing else in this pack. Like, we're getting past... Like, we're, we're, we, like either, either someone else is taking all the good green cards, or there is, like, no one in these green packs. Collect is decent, and it's also the only green card here. Could take Naturalize for the sideboard, but I think Recollect is actually decent, especially when we have Vine Mare, Dried Green Seeker, things of that nature. I will probably take the Naturalize now, because I don't care about any of these white cards. None of these cards are great either. Man, I don't know when to when to jump ship and get a different color. Not jump ship, but like, you know, pick up a second color. There we go. Talons came back, which is pretty good on a vine mare. And Titanic Growth. These are all playable cards. So literally, <laughs> not a single non-green card. I'm game. I'm gonna just take a Lava X. Red, red, black is an option. I'm not gonna have a second recollect. I'll just take in the Frang Omnipotence. None of these cards are super exciting. I'm not really being pulled in any sort of secondary direction. Are you always this beautiful or does it take hours of prep time? Uh, it takes a couple hours. Probably like seven. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, that's actually comical. Oh, boy. that's. <laughs> and I also like this Talons because it gives it... Oh, that's fantastic. It gives it Trample is what I was going to say. But you know what? We're just going <laughs> to... Oh, the big dumb idiot deck. This is gas. That's just good times. I'm going to turn Mike's mic off so that slide it right back. Back into the abyss. Oh, and a Vigilant Bailoth. All right, like we still have no reason to be a second color right now. Luminous Bonds is great, but we just don't have to choose a different color yet. I think it's better than Boar. And we're more inclined to get Boars, so... I would like some number of ramp, ra rabid bites so that we can uh, actually have some form removal. I 
omniscient. Oh, Meteor Golem is fantastic. Hopefully this Druid of this Rejuvenator comes back, but Meteor Golem is just great. Yeah, we're definitely taking that bad boy. Oh my god, WPN, like I used to run events maybe, god, probably like eight years ago at my local store. I used to run the events. And so WPN sends me emails because my email is the one registered. And I'm still getting them to this day. And if I want to unassociate my email with it, I have to like call them. And I'm just like, I have really no desire to do this. But I also don't want to get, keep getting WPN emails. Like it's kind of obnoxious. Oh, another talents. Do I play two talents? There was a rabbit bite in the Gigantosaur pack. That is correct. I, I don't know how that helps us now, Recif, but I I am aware. Probably just taking Thornhide Wolves over second talons. Did Popeye say if it's green, it's good? I, I don't know if I've ever heard Popeye say that. I mean, I'm aware he does eat spinach, but... I don't know if that's a direct Popeye quote or not. Oh, it was more. I, I'm also hoping it'll table, but you know, second talons is more likely to give our. Do we even go into like this guy's just as good as most of these other cards? Can we just be mono green? We have 15 cards. We need eight more cards for our deck, and like, it's real close. Sarkhan's on ceiling would trigger off of pretty much all of these things. That's pretty insane. I mean, as far as staying colorless goes, we can just take Apparatus. It actually deals with uh, snapping Drake and things like that. So, Rejuvenator is exactly what we wanted to see. I really want to be ramping to this five spot. So, it's Spider Man Day? Is that true? My God, how do I not know that? My God. <laughs> Someone comes up to you and they're like, excuse me, Popeye didn't say what's on your shirt. Gift of Paradise. That's also pretty okay. Hey, the Talons came back. It's a late Bone Dash. We're not taking a double blue card this late in the game. I'm actually very okay with the way this deck looks as a mono green. Hmm. Second two drop. This guy off with the Talons is actually, what, a 3-3 Trampler? It's not terrible. I don't think we need it. We have a whole other pack. I'm just going to take the Omniscience for, for the values. Also, our sideboard's looking pretty strange by right now. Because it's basically... Well, I mean, we have a naturalized and a root snag, I guess, but... Root snare, not root snag, I guess. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> That's fantastic. I mean, we're not playing it, guys. I, I hate it, but we're not playing it. We're going to take the 20-ticket 20, 20 gentleman, but... God, Jesus. <laughs> Mom, get the camera. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we're just taking it because we don't want to play against it, not because it's $20. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty, 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 pretty... Pretty sure it's actually just coarser here. We could take the poison tip archer, but like how many how many swamps do we need? And like how much worse is Gigantosaur once we start adding other colors to our deck? It's not. It's not worth a second color. Because once you get it once you have a second turn like if you have a swamp to, to play this on turn four, then you're automatically playing this guy on turn six now. And if you have two swamps, 
Yeah, that gets significantly worse. Actually, Diamond Mare might be really good in our deck. Oh, we just named Green, right? Quacker, what are you saying right now? Better than a third rejuvenator? Are you talking about the, uh, the, the Courser? I mean, the thing is, we have a Gift of Paradise as well. So we already have three of that effect. We have Juvenation, Rejuvenation, and Gift of Paradise. I don't want a fourth Rejuvenator effect in our deck. Um, This actually might be worth splashing. That's fascinating. I think it's actually just Dreadmaw here. Wow. A 6-6 six, six flyer is better, but it's it's also double red. So I ain't about that double red life. Man, this is a this is another rupture spire. We don't need to hit double red on turn three. You guys what you guys aren't understanding is that like we don't have to have double red on turn three but if we draw those those mountains instead of forests it makes this guy significantly worse and honestly yeah like we're just not gonna be able to cast this and i think our deck is just great right now second meteor golem is actually insane is it better than a rabbit bite probably Yeah, I think it is when we have Gift, Rejuvenator, Rejuvenator. I think it's actually Meteor Golem. Meteor Golem kills anything. The problem isn't that Double Red is unreasonable. I don't think it's unreasonable at all. I think it's it's completely reasonable. The problem is it messes up the mana base significantly when we have Gigantosaur. If we go turn three Rejuvenator with Gigantosaur in hand and we hit one of the two mountains that we need, we're not playing this on turn, on turn four all of a sudden. And also, maybe we play Rejuvenator on, or uh, Lathless on turn five, but maybe we don't hit the second mountain. So, like, how many mountains do we have in the deck where we reliably hit two of them by turn five because we're casting one of these on three? This also casts both. So, if we end up drawing this, it's great. But, I mean, this also only adds two of one color. It's not like you can add two mana of, like, you can't add, like, a red and a black with that. Wow, we just get all the. Yeah, we're just taking this guy. <laughs> we're already twenty four cards. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna draft the dragons, I guess. This is my first mono color deck in this format, so. Yeah, we could have Nicobolus Lathless. Oh, and we could have had this guy too. Oh God. Actually, this guy, if... Oh, this guy, more than anything, makes me want to take the Lathless, but... God, this is tempting. We've played Gigantosaur in multicolor decks before, but we have no incentive. Like, this is the greediest thing ever, like, to play to play these things. I actually want to cast this on turn four, and uh, I think it's really good with Talons here, so... Like... Yeah, we're going to take this. Um... Yeah, we've played it in other decks, but we've never actually had it consistently in other decks. Volley Veteran? Good lord. I want that Rabbit Bite to come back, but I don't think it's happening. Yeah, don't care about you. We only have two... We'll probably take out Apparatus, maybe. Also, we have Arcane Encyclopedia and Dryad Greenseeker, which is pretty good for the green deck. Yeah, I'm going to take out the Apparatus here. I think the life gain is awesome on, on Diamond Mare. 
Yes, you might have missed the opening of this nickel bolus that we're going to put right there. And... Oh, this is still 24 cards? Oh, I think we... No, we put this guy in. All right. Why is it, I was like, why is this 24 cards? All right, done. Perfect. Beautiful. This is a pretty easy deck to build. And we still got a naturalize and a root snare, so cool. Keep. Snap keep. Snaperino. You got it. Red deck could have trouble with the Bailoth and the Dreadmaw. Haste! Yeah, I'll just block this guy. I agree red-green with Instigator can be a little scary. Don't whiff and we're good to go. <laughs> oh, so close. Alright, none of those cards we care about. Look like a Gargoyle, a Timberwatch, and a Corsair. Why you gotta be so mean? I'm gonna marry her anyway. Marry that girl. I'm just gonna attack with this guy. What are you gonna do, block? No. He, he attacked after he played his spells, so his opponent knew that he had nothing. Yes. I would EOT give my Bailoth haste, because that's funny. I mean, if they have active treason, that's sure, sure, I'll take five and then I'll get my guy back. Good deal. Yeah, that's not super concerning to me. You want to give that dude haste? I mean, I feel like if you had Titanic Growth, you would have given this guy haste. So I'm going to put you on here. Also, it trades with Titanic Growth now. And we can get both creatures back with a Recollect. Marry that girl. The best green non-rare? Um, It's definitely possible. I mean, it's a green 1-3 for 2 that lets you potentially draw 2 cards a turn. That is not bad. You got it. My guy's bigger than your guy. I would say let's get a Meteor Golem, but... That ain't how that works. Yeah. Oh, the old double Dread Maw. So we attack, they double block. That's pretty sad. Just gonna play Dread Maw here. Can you explain drawing two? What does that mean? <laughs> what are you asking me, Sammy? Sammy, what do you say?
Oh, we just win this game. All right. Mono green strikes again. I almost want root snare just because it seems like they're doing some root snare things. You bring in the apparatus. Oh yeah, I meant two cards total. It doesn't it doesn't by itself draw you two cards. Mono green is so bad in M19. <laughs> okay. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> what do you, what do you gain from coming into a, a Twitch stream and saying things like that? That's hilarious to me. What up, Steve? All right, let's try it again. Oh, that's sad. That is a bolus in our sideboard. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Boop. That's eh, fine. Put you on the bottom. Oh, the gray wizard immediately coming into stream, and the first thing you say is, "Does someone have a beta key?" Fantastic. Oh boy, did someone stream just end? Why are saltwater creams so expensive? Like I want, yeah, they are actually. Um, probably because they're just. I mean, you obviously need more things, right? You need salt. You need to balance your pH levels. Um, you know, the the maintenance alone is more, but like also the equipment is probably more expensive. I had a saltwater cream for a very very short period of time, uh, until I realized the upkeep was significantly harder than I had anticipated. Uh, to like to like to balance the pH levels and stuff. Wow, shock that guy. <laughs> Just got a fresh water cream and add salt. Add a Twitch user. That's fantastic. Your belly button is just your old mouth. I have no idea what that means, but that is a heck of a thing. Trampoly Dinosaur, our first striking knight. Those are fantastic. Those are good names. <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Mono Green is bad was making unwanted and very wrong suggestions over there too. Fantastic. Well, you know what they say, those who can't make unwanted suggestions in streams. So. Thank you. 
Chris, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is uh this is a lot of land. So we got this Thornhide Wolves coming out. This dude's gonna be obnoxious if we can't kill it before it reaches its its apex. Oh, they're not attacking with it. Fascinating. Fascinating. Well, that's a big dude. We have no rabbit bites. We have two meteor golems, though. So that's pretty cool. They also missed a land drop. So if we do hit a meteor golem, we will be ahead. We can go seven meteor golem. Bonk them. I'm afraid of them attacking. Really? I mean, if you have... I'm going to assume you have Titanic Growth, because that's why you attack with the 1-1. One, one. So, that's fine. No. Interesting. Maybe maybe it's just worth the 4 damage if I block here instead. Dreadmaw? Just another wolf. Okay. Well... Hold on one second. At least we have Titanic growth. I mean, they're not attacking with this guy because they just don't have... They didn't have a pump spell last turn, clearly. Or they just didn't want to use it. But, I mean... I mean, obviously this guy's more valuable as a 5-5 dragon at some point than just throwing it away into a Thornhide Wolves. All right, seems good. Four spells, nine lands, a classic.
All right. <laughs> That's the tenth forest is really where I draw where I draw the line, I think. All right. So that's a sad day. Yeah, I think we're just fine. I mean, like, we just drew 10 lands, four spells. What can you do? Let's play first. What did you first pick? Uh, what did we first pick? Uh, we first picked... It was definitely a green card. And then we got a second pick Dryad. Vine Mare. We first picked Vine Mare, and then we got a second pick Dryad. This hand is actually great. This Arcane Encyclopedia should make sure things go a little bit, uh, a little bit easier for us here. <laughs> Despite the fact that we have a... An abundance of lands, once again. An embarrassment of lands. Um, yeah, we're just going to put this on here. And start beating down with 3-3. Three, three. Now you can drive in more forests than the last game. That's all I really want. I mean, I'll risk... I mean, if you had Titanic Strength, you would have attacked, right? Because then you just get to... You get to get in for two, and if I don't have... If, if I, you know, if I if I don't block, you get two in. If I block, you kill my guy. So, I, I just have to assume you don't have that. And next turn, we get to go Diamond Mare draw a card, which is pretty nice. Uh, would I use MTGF for drafting phases versus humans? No, I have no reason to. Magic Online fulfills my drafting needs uh, just the same. And um, I get to I get to bolster my Magic Online collection where I actually play Standard and Modern, rather than Magic Online where I don't actually play any formats. So no, I just have no incentive to play Magic Online or Magic Magic the Ma Magic Arena basically. <sighs> so now we're not attacking. Yep. Hmm. I guess we just go Dreadmaw here. I can't. Yeah, we have to just go Dreadmaw here. We have to have an answer for this guy and just hope they don't have a rabid bite at some point. 
I mean, even if they do, we still have Thornhide Wolves, and then we can Talons it. Yep, that's pretty amazing. <sighs> the old three for two. A oh, classic. Super infuriating. This actually might be pretty hard to deal with for the green red deck, especially with the talons in hand. All right, let's let's do this. So next turn we can go one, two, talons, draw a card, I guess. Oh yeah, that's just fine. I mean, active treason would probably win them the game on the spot. Let's not let's not kid ourselves. But this does not strike me as an active treason deck. Oh, I see. Four, five, six, seven. So even if you do have Titanic Growth in hand, we still have a pretty good. Uh, like we'll just wipe your board and still get some damage through. Five, six, seven, eight. We get three points in. This is a good draw because next turn we can actually grab the talons back and put it on there. I mean, if they do have active treason now, we're just dead, right? They're probably like, ooh, I can block with my rejuvenator. This will be great. And I'm going to be like, don't do it. And we won the match. Man, I thought we were going to flop. How unfortunate. Is there anything we wanted to change? I don't think so. I think I like the configuration. We have a great top end. I mean, I'm not even going to say we're going to 3-0 with this deck. It just seems fun. It's just a nice change of pace after the 3-0 last round. Last, last draft. 11-11 Trample is large. Really? This is how you're going to do me, Magic Online? You know what? I'll keep this because I can, I can, I know we can hit two lands. Jesus. You stuck to your guns and actually committed to the 10 10 5 drop to this format created. You're playing it how it's meant to be played. I can agree with you. I appreciate you saying so, Sizers. I have to put that on the bottom that's so sad because we can't we're on turn two we draw that now on turn three if it's not a land it's just the end bolus was pack three pick one yeah i mean if we got land land we're in great shape we're halfway there living on a prayer Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear. Oh, oh, living on a prayer. Let 
Land. Oh, God, we're so good at this game. I want to just play the 1-1 one, one here. Uh, I like to make sure... Because if we hit another land... Oh, that was... That was nice. We also hit four spells there. So the odds of us having a, a fifth land on top is actually not out of the question. Yep. We'll just play this guy for now. Now I'm almost wishing I kept the Dryad. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have done that. That would have been terrible. I like this guy because it gets around Strangling Spores, which is super nice. And it gets around that guy. Well, now we missed the land drop, but maybe we didn't. We did. And if they want to strangle these this guy, just to get through, I'll take... I mean, that's their turn, so that's pretty okay. I'm pretty sure they're going to Lich's Caress this guy, maybe. What do people think of Gorklaw in this draft? Isn't Gorklaw just fantastic? I mean, it's a 4-3 for 4. Like, it's a rare. I mean, it's on par with any other creature in those stats, so... I can't see a reason why you wouldn't just think it's great. I mean, even if it's not, like, if it had no other text, it's still a 4 3 4. It's just as good as Boar. And Boar is uh, a high a high playable in green, so it's literally just a Boar with multiple upsides. Hmm. Fascinating. Boar is a bacony abyss. Wow, that's just terrible. Why are you the way that you are, pernicious dude? I think this one actually, like, it has it has a hard time dealing with just mono big guys. You're just like, oh, wow, you got a 4-5 and a 6-6. Six, six. I mean, I have 3 damage, 4 damage, negative 3, negative 3 in my hand. I can't do anything about that, you know? Like, there's so many limited, outside of Lich's Caress, like, there's not that many things that deal with these guys. Especially when we have Titanic Growth in hand. Like, this is going to be pretty pretty brutal, I think. This might be just game. Like, they have four, four block, we have 11, and then we get an extra four here. So, I don't know what red or black card you could have. Uh, this is almost exactly, I think. Because this is 15 damage, and they can block four of it. I mean, we might as well do this now, um, because if they do have Strangling Spores in hand, they're going to do a post-combat, so we're going to be forced to use this anyway. And we actually have no incentive to not use this. If they have Electrify, it doesn't kill our guy. Um, sure Strike doesn't, doesn't do it. Yeah, Sure Strike does nothing against us. Like, they actually just take a million here and go to zero. Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear. Hmm. Oh, this hand, just fine. I mean, it'd be nicer if Bolus was in the main deck. <sighs> also, Talons gets our creatures out of uh, Lightning Strike and uh, Strangling Spores range. Not out of Electrify range, but still pretty good. I don't understand why people incorrectly don't play Nicol Bolas in the mono green deck. I don't either. Amateur hour, am I right? I got this drink like an hour ago. 
and I never actually drank any of it. That's amateur hour. Two drop. That's close to a two drop. It's one mana away from a two drop. They tormenting voice discarding is strangling spores? That's interesting. This is the worst card in your hand? I don't know what to make of that. That is fascinating. I'm just going to play Courser here. We don't have any five drops that we're trying to ramp into like we did last time. Uh, so we're just going to play this guy. Misclick easily. Yeah, I can't imagine that that was the... Yep, this is all fine. I'm pretty sure we just attack here, and, like, if they want to trade, like, this and this, like, I'll, I'll do it. Because they're clearly going wide here, so they've seen pump spells from us. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't think having a second side, a second spores in hand, means that you're going to automatically discard one. That's actually. I kind of want to play a lane. I, I kind of want to play Rejuvenator here, so we can guarantee playing Arcane Encyclopedia and Gargoyle next turn, or drawing a card. But it might just be Gargoyle because if we hit a land anyway. Yeah, we're just gonna play Gargoyle here. Electrify. All right, you got it. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I think we just pass here and draw a card. Fascinating. Fascinating. In before Nicol Bolas next turn. You guys ready? Hmm. Let's keep hitting. Trying to hit land. Yep. Wow, Gigantosaur, Colossal Dreadmaw, go to the bottom. That's brutal. How did we miss a land there? I guess we should have uh, hit this first. Doesn't really make sense, but... Oh, 
<laughs> oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Yep, and then we're just going to die to that. <sighs> really need a meteor golem here. And we have two in the deck. That's fine. Not great, but they didn't attack there. Fascinating. All right. Well, <laughs> keep on digging. That's, yep, that's probably going to be harder to deal with. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. Okay, well. I mean, runner, runner, I think we're still okay. <laughs> like, they attack for six here, we go to 12. They don't attack, okay, well. I wish we had 10 mana so we could draw a card and still play Meteor Golem if it was there. Why aren't they attacking? This is pretty impressive. Oh my god. Come on, dude. It's going to be Meteor Golem. Oh, actually, we would have. We're, we're, we'd, yeah, we'd have enough. 6, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're basically dead. Are they intimidated by Gargoyle Sentinel? That's pretty hilarious. How's that a real thing? All right, well. What can you do? I can't even wonder if this person was in our draft and we should have just taken the Lathless to, uh, to deny them the Lathless. Wow. Aggressive. Pay oh yeah, she actually pumps all the dragons. Yeah, so we're just dead. I I'm gonna actually go out on a limb and say the next card is a meteor, a golem. So All right. Uh, well, I wish we had more interest of flying creatures. We do not. Hmm. Where are the two golems in India, man? It's getting real. Real something. Yeah, we're just going to submit like this. I don't think Root Snare is great. Like, Root Snare, I'd rather not draw a Root Snare when I could draw something else just because they have... Pff, come on. Just because... Eh, uh, I'll deal with this. We have a lot of ramp cards, so... Presuming, assuming, uh, presuming, <laughs> assuming we hit lands, this hand is actually great, but, oh, that's frustrating. Well, we are hitting lands, though. I don't want to actually have you block this guy and then just get a 2-2 Death Toucher out of the deal.
All right. Well, we are hitting lands. Uh, I'm just going to... God, the problem is now, like, they are way ahead right now. So if we attack here, they're definitely attacking here. But I guess that's all they do, so... I just assume they have Strangling Spores in hand because they've shown it to us. Or Electrify. Either one kills one of these guys. And now they can just kill this guy with a Strangling Spores or an Electrify and then attack for six, which is what they're going to do. Okay. So, that's exactly what we were afraid of. Really, you don't attack with the Doom Dissenter, even though all I have is a... That's fascinating to me. Well, at least we're on Lathless duty here. That's pretty nice. <sighs> sure. If you have Electrify, you get to kill a Colossal Dreadmaw. It's a two for one. It's fine. I have Dreadmaws for days. Yep. All right. Yep, that one was worth about one snicker. <laughs> the Lord does not have Death Touch. Three, four, five, six. If they want to trade their whole board, I'm fine with it. I think this is a situation where you just have to just start being aggressive. Yep. You take nine here. I will take seven. If you have a Lathless, we will kill it. And... Nope, just another Spark Tongue. Alright. Fascinating. Diamond Mare. Yeah, I'm just going to kill the Spark Tongue here. So if we attack with this, they just block with Death Touch, they go to three. Yeah, that's not ideal. My concern is just go land Lathless and we just got rid of uh, one of the Meteor Golems, but we actually can't just sit on it forever. <laughs> okay. Well, it's all coming together now, isn't it? So, they're going to go Zombie to Colossal Dread mod. Probably double block the Gargoyle. And then maybe this guy gets through. I'm actually okay with all of this. If we had Titanic Growth, it would be very, very good. Oh, we just get to kill the Lord. All right. It's actually pretty good. Just get this back. All right. Hope I don't get penalized. No strangling spores, no lightning strike. Tormenting voice discarding fiery finish. Whew. Yep, you got it. One hundred presumptuous bits. Fantastic. Interesting. Draw a card. Sentinel, huh? So 
So if they go block here, block here, like they... This guy survives. So if they want to block here, it's totally fine. And then you take... Three? Yeah, alright. Fascinating. Yep, that's what I figured. And then we get a... Oh, alright, everything, everything dies. Well, all your things die anyway. Uh, if he waltzes back two sparkies, like it's not going to do much. They only have so well, now they have seven mana, but I mean, it's you're going to just play Lathless at some point. You've dug through enough cards and waited for your six mana. Fiery finish. Fascinating. All right. I can't imagine if they had very good things in their hand, they would have fiery finished that guy. They have one card. No Lathless off the top. I mean, any creature, like... 5-6 Trample's pretty good. Oh, boy! 2-0! Oh. Woo! Woo! Sweating it. This hand's good. I like having a Meteor Golem, even if it's far off, because our mm, deck can actually go through a lot of cards, surprisingly. What is this link? <laughs> Just, oh my god, you guys are amazing. Okay, let's not let's not let's not uh call down the three O gods just yet. Oh, that was a good draw. Definitely playing that thing. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. 
All right, so we get to EOT Dry Drain Seeker, and then we get to Upkeep Dryad Green Seeker. I'm gonna take two here. I don't care about your stupid basilisk. Yeah, that guy's fine. That was a big dumb dummy. Dang it. Nailed it. Well, I remember. I remember. Don't worry, worry. How could I ever forget it's the first time? I'm a block with my horse. Blocking with my horse. Do I just trade here? Yeah, this is fine. We gain two life from our graveyard stuff. I'd rather not waste the titanic growth if I can actually just kill that dude. Oh, I see. You got another one. Boop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, two lands in a row. Next turn, we got double Meteor Golem coming up. Boy. I will block this guy again if you'd like. They're also missing uh, quite a few land drops, it would seem. Oh my heavens. Fascinating. Hmm. Oh no, this is not going to end well for you. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Come and knock on our door. Reading Rainbow.
Yep. Oh man. <laughs> Try it, Green Seeker doing work now. All right. <sighs> Talons on a mare. <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a nickel bolus on the sideboard. It's good times. I'm going to keep this and uh, we're going to find lands and we're going to be on the draw and we are going to be okay guys we're going to make it we're halfway there okay that's not it but once we hit land land we're in great shape <sighs> that's not it I clicked it immediately because I was like it's okay it's going to be a land I had so much faith because the shuffler had did me so so well by now Shuffler, you did me good. <sighs> Deck one more land and we are... You and I are square, my friend. What's it like to be this good at Magic the Gathering? Oh, boy. <laughs> well, <laughs> spoke too soon, I suppose. Oh, crying out loud. That was brutal. Never didn't have it, he says, before realizing that he didn't have it at all. Unless you mean lands. Unless lands are which we never didn't have, in which case. Boy, that's awkward. One more time. This time with feeling. You can do it. Wow, there was one land. there. So in total, in the past 11 cards, 5 revealed from this, 5 revealed from this, and a draw, there was one land in 11 cards. That's impressive. Of course, if this guy hit land, then we drew a land. We'd have Colossal Dreadmaw next turn, which would be super nice, but... Sure. Yeah, these are all fine. Living on a mare. It's hexproof. Can't target it, I swear. Oh, live. It was only then when she realized that he, in fact, didn't have it. In fact, he never had it. 
Wow, I'm reading that in the. Uh... Oh God, what if? What do we do if they have it? I'm reading that in the uh, Arrested Development narrator's voice, in Ron Howard's voice. Oh wow, this is just a great trade if this just works. Oh, that's just fantastic. This is, I think we just, I think we're actually doing just fine, guys. I think we just actually came back from this. All right, well, this is a thing. Would you say that? All right, hold on. Let's see what uh, let's see what I would say. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I've never even seen that in my life. I don't think we actually, I think we should just start building. Because I still want to hit lands here, so. So seven lands, we actually activate this for three. If we hit a fifth land, we can still play Vigilant Bailoff. A fifth land, uh, ninth land. Eighth land? Eighth land. That's where we're going. That's our final answer. I don't know what's going on here. They have two cards. We have, th oh, well, aggression. But up, up. We're going to block here because if they have Titanic Growth, I'm just fine trading. Like, there's no. Oh, they're going to pick. Oh, they're going to do something. F oh, sure. If their last card is Growth and we trade here. And then you have a bunch of dudes, and it's fine. All right. Interesting. We might just, if we don't hit a land, we might just play Colossal Dreadmaw because I don't feel like risking not having a second body on the board, but that's okay. Land is, land is our friend. Hmm. We could just play this and actually put thorns on here. Now nah, we're just going to attack here. I mean, I don't have to save thorns for anything because we just have... Uh, we can get it back, but yeah, I wouldn't put it on this guy because I would just want to trade off the Sure. If you have six, we'll take six. Oh, you just have Banefire. 
Well, so much for coming back, I guess. Cool. Oh, that's obnoxious. <laughs> so, wow. All right, so we've lost two red rare, red bomb rares both games. So that's cool. hand is rough oh this is better this is actually pretty good I'll keep this guy on top because I think he's actually very good in this matchup so we'll see yeah I think apparatus would have probably been a good choice I can I can get behind that it just kills their four twos and their their dagger claws but They missed the land drop, so that's not terrible. Well, now we're missing land drops, so I guess we'll try to find one. We did. We're good at this game. Yeah, this is not a fair trade. My name is Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the... You killed my father, prepare to die. So if they pump this guy with plus four, plus four... Hmm... Yeah, that's really annoying every single time you play it. Six lands is a really stupid spot to be in. I'd rather play five drop in Talons this turn. I think we just have to keep trading. Just keep throwing guys away. This seems fine. We're just going to keep them off their guys. I don't see why Corsair and Talons is better than Bailoth. That doesn't get past their 4-2. We play Corsair Talons, we have a 4-4, and they just block with a 4-2. That doesn't seem great. I mean, I, I'd rather have a 5-5 that can get past that. They didn't have Dagger dagger Back Basilisk on board, so, like, we just have a... <laughs> I, I mean, I... Uh, we kind of do. 
Like, because if they play a 6-6 six, six or something else, like, I want to have more guys on board. I don't want to just trade one for one before they play Colossal Dreadmaw. <laughs> you should play Talon so you can trade one damage. Yeah, like, we're not advancing our board. And plus, being able to keep smaller plays for later in the game means we get to play more things on each any given turn. Hmm, seven mana. Land? Oof. All right, so that's a thing next turn that they probably don't have an answer to, which is pretty nice. They are drawing a good amount of cards. But we're not going to get Bane fired anytime soon. Actually, if we draw a land, we can go Gigantosaur Diamond Mare. I mean, they already have the deck. This guy's already in the graveyard, so I don't know if they have a, they have to have a second one and a Rabid Bite. That seems like a tall order. We might have seen two, but I don't think we've seen a rabbit bite yet, so like declare dominance. Sure. Four, five, six. Alright, well, you got it. Hope you don't have Titanic growth. You probably do. No. Okay. It's just a two for two. That's reasonable. Banefire for one. Wow. Well, I was hoping to hit a land there, but instead I'll just play this guy. Banefire in the graveyard is pretty good for us. We can go Mare... Green Seeker next turn. We're probably just getting back Talons. We're also at 12. Oh, no attack, huh? Okay. So seven, we got three, four, five, six, seven. We can do that. Well, that was obnoxious. If they attack, they were dead. <laughs> they would be able to block four, and then they would take seven from this guy's trample, so they would just actually die. If they didn't have Banefire prodigious, prodigious Growth, I think this is a completely different game. Sure. Yep, all these things are fine. Admittedly, relatively mediocre. Can I draw one of my numerous meteor golems? <sighs> Titanic Grove is actually pretty freaking good here. We just have to wait till we get that trample. 
I mean, no declare dominance and we're okay. Declare dominance is, actually just kills us. Chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom. Yep, aggressive. You have four cards. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. And we can actually get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're all in on you not having it, I guess. I don't know. My name is Cuban Pete, I'm the king of the rumba beat. Banefire is already in the graveyard. Pretty <laughs> just Banefire number two. Yeah, that'd be good. And they could just have Electrify, and they're trying to figure out where to put the Electrify. I mean, that seems like an easy cost, right? I too have that. Do you have a second one? If you have a second one, it's just like, well, that's a blowout. Yeah, all right. Woo! Get to keep our wolves. Definitely tapping this guy during upkeep to try to. Or we don't. Seems good. Well. That's a thing, I guess. How many Dreadmaws do we have left? Actually, we have a Recollect. That's pretty good. If we can get rid of this guy. If we can draw a Meteor Golem to get rid of this guy. Maximize chance to hit land. Did it. Okay. Meteor Golem. This guy's also a two-turn clock. And we get to draw a card here. Or we can go three, get back, put it on here. They have one card in hand. Two, three. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, I'd rather just have the life here. Yeah, they've been drawing two pretty much all game, which is rough, but... <laughs> wow. All right. Well, this is a lot of things you're doing. We're just going to try to hit a Meteor Golem. It was a land if we had done the thing. Yeah, this well, that's not bad. <sighs> Cringy. Oh, boy, this is... All right, this is all fine. Everything that's happening is fine right now. Oh, I'm definitely not going to forget to bring back the enchantment. Don't you worry about that. Yep, this is all fine. Everything they're playing is just fine.
Wow, this game is pretty intense. Ugh, that's gross. We have two meteor golems in our deck. Where are they? Where are my golems at? So we can go Vine Mare and Sentinel here, or we can just go attack for three. Do we die if we do that? Attack for three, play a guy. We go to 13, we can go block, 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 block. We take one, two, three, four, five. We got to do some finger action here. One, two, three, four. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If they have two spells or like a pump spell. Uh, if we attack, we can put them... We have a two-turn clock. We kill them next turn if they don't have an answer to Gargoyle. That's why. Uh, I, I'd rather kill them in two turns than, than, mill, than mill the mountain. I really don't want to just stay alive. They're drawing two cards a turn. So this is what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. They have six lands between their deck and their hand. Well, it's definitely this. So we've got a 13. I feel like it's just attack with this. We can block four things. One, two. Like, profitably, no less. And then they're at four. So they're dead on board to this Gargoyle Sentinel. They just have to kill us here. Which is not impossible. We're at 13. But... This gives them one turn. I assume one of the cards is a land. That's just an assumption I have to make. I, they probably have an, a land in hand as well. Or they had one in hand, I would imagine. All right, well, here goes nothing. I mean, how, they have to alpha. Right? No. Okay. But my life, my love, and my lady is a sea. All right, let's see what you got. Four, four, flying trample. Naturalize does it. Plummet does it. I don't know why you'd bring in a plummet or a naturalize against this deck. Oh my god! Woo! They've drew two cards a turn every single turn. They had a prodigious growth and a bane fire, and we managed to 3 0 that draft. That was pretty epic. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great. Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.